So this is the painting I'm working on. It measures 12 inches by 16 inches. And it's a combination of, of four different photos that I've put together. So I'm kind of letting it develop on its own a little bit. Some of the things that I wanted to emphasize were the brush strokes and variations of color in the face. There's a lot of detail in the nose and the eye. And the wispiness of the hair, you can see the appearance of detail, but in the actual hair itself, there's really very little. This part is not yet done, so I'll work on that. The neck, I've diminished the detail and gotten a little bit darker in color. I've got to work on over here yet, so I'll show you some of that. Much of the background is done, though I'll fiddle with it a little. And uh, the other thing that I wanted to do was focus where the eye went in the painting. So the viewer's eye will focus in on here and areas like this down here, I've softened the edge, lost the edge almost completely. Same thing here where you just don't want it to look all outlined and pasted on. And when it comes to here, you won't really even see the edge. So I've used the background just to kind of emphasize where I wanted it emphasized and kept it very neutral. So even though the colors on the horse are neutral, they will be brighter than the background. This is my palette from yesterday and my numerous brushes that I've got on the go. I will use some of the same colors and just touches here and there, mostly black that I will remix. And I'm just putting the finishing touches on this painting so I don't need a lot of paint left. So I don't have too much more to do on this painting. This mane needs to be darkened a little bit. And as I mentioned, I'm just going to take it right up into the background and lose that edge completely. Maybe put a few touches in there, but we don't really need an edge right there. And as far as the rest of the mane goes, it is meant to be very dark, but I'm intentionally not putting much fur in terms of filling it in. I'm, I'm leaving <clears throat> some of the underpainting showing through. That just gives it some variation. I could put a little linseed oil underneath there just to make it flow a little smoother. Either put it on and wipe it off or just incorporate it into the paint a bit. I also have the option of putting some texture in here. In order to give the impression of hair, all it really takes is just some strokes at the edge where one value meets another. You don't have to put every hair in to give the idea to the viewer that you have painted it all. Our eyes don't see that way. We focus in certain areas and not in others. So to make every area of detail the same is just tedious to the eyes. So for the next step, I'm just going to take some of my brighter colors. This is basically just the yellow and the red mixed together because it will pick up from the colors below. And just put in a few little strokes. You can see it's much brighter on my brush than it's coming off because it's picking up the paint from below.
just some the red, the yellow, and a bit of linseed oil. Easy to tone it down if it's too bright. Now on the top, the reds and yellows kind of come from the, the sun picking up on the main hairs. As I've said, it's easy to tone it down. If some of it's just standing out a little too much, I'll just get in with my black and tone it down a bit. But on top of the main, rather than looking red and yellow, it would be reflecting more from the sky. So for that, I will put some of my blues in. Just fiddling without getting too fiddly here. back and forth process. Deciding how is how much to put and then how much is too much. Okay, so now with a little bit of the grays that I've already mixed before, a little bit of blue in it, touch of linseed oil, I will go on the top here and just put in a few little strokes. My Colors for this painting are the same standard colors I almost always use. The pyro red light, permanent yellow light, titanium white, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue. And in this case, I have added turquoise blue just to give some of these lighter turquoise colors. to get a little more gray with some of this. The blue is coming out too much. And it's getting a little too much like soldiers in a row, so I'm going to come back in with my black and change that a little bit too. You want to avoid that look. better. A couple extra little wisps here and there. And this guy's pretty much done except for painting the edges, which I will do in a bit. And then call it done. I think I'll wait until it's dry before I sign it just so I don't disturb the brush strokes down there. Sometimes I sign it wet, but a lot of times I'll wait till they're dry. Okay.